All right, guys. So today I was actually trying to make uh, under masala for the first time. I had a lot of screw ups, ups and downs, which didn't go out properly. But at least now I know I can make under masala. And just a tip for all of y'all: if you're actually going through the full video, now you know before putting the water in and the eggs towards the end, I'd suggest you let the masala cool down. Okay, after it cools down, put it in a mixer grinder. Yeah, all of that thing. Put it in a mixer grinder, blend it to a paste. Okay, after it becomes a paste, put it back into the pan in the wok. All right, let it heat up for some time. Put the water, the half cup of water. All right, then let it mix. And after that, add the eggs. Okay, then cover it on top. Let it cook for about two to three minutes. Then close it, uh, then rather open it, this then cut cheap. your uh, fenugreek now. leaves or kothmir, spread it on top, it cover it, let it cook for another four to five minutes, and you're done. I couldn't exactly do all of that because my, uh, what you call that thing, uh, the thing that I connect my sockets to, yeah, that thing popped, it burst, the fuse burst, so I don't think I'll be able to do any cooking in my place for the next, well, till May 3rd till everything opens, if everything opens. So next time on, I'm gonna be making videos at my dad's place. Which is gonna be tricky as we have the lockdown from, well, we've got the lockdown and the curfew. So I'd be, I'd have to go down to my father's place by 10 in the morning and finish cooking by 12 in the afternoon. So let's see what all I can do between that span of time. Till then brothers, cheers. Okay guys, so I'm at my dad's place and I'll put all that egg masala inside a mixer to see if I can make this smooth instead of having, you know, those onions and tomatoes like I was supposed to do. Okay guys, this is how the under masala looks after it's blended. It looks so good. Yeah, it looks so good. Check it out. Uh, yeah, and to make it look so good, I just put a very small pinch of food coloring, red food coloring. It looks proper Indian Daba style under masala. Okay guys, I promise this is going to be my final video on the under masala. Now what I've done is, yesterday I didn't have a blender or something like that. So what I've done is, now I've cut up most of the eggs that were remaining. I went down to my dad's out with the curry or the gravy that was there from yesterday. I put it in a blender and now see it. Just let me get all of this out and I'll continue. Okay, so I have taken the gravy out of the container and now I'm just mixing my eggs in it. So you don't have got no lumps like before, you know, the onion lumps or something. Now, this is proper restaurant under style, daba style under masala. Alright guys, Rupert, this one's for you man. As you can see, it looks fucking awesome. Pretty.